Hello and welcome to Invest Solver. Today I'm going to cover exponential moving average or EMA. EMA measures trend direction over a period of time. By applying more weight to prices that are more current, and because of its unique calculation, EMA will follow prices more closely than simple moving average. Let's take GM stock for 58 trading sessions, or you can say 58 trading days. The fully VV enabled spreadsheet model is available for download from investsolver.com, by the way. Uh, so the link is in the description. You must do these three things to find EMA for a stock or an asset. It could be a commodity as well. The step one is to find the initial EMA value. You can start by calculating the simple moving average depending on the number of days you are considering. We'll cover that very soon. The next step is to find the weight multiplier or the smoothing constant, sometimes called as K. And the last step is to Take the weight multiplier on in step two and apply it in the EMA formula. So let's see the EMA calculation in action. So I got 58 closing prices of the GM stock. See here. Columns A and B. Column A has the date, trade, and column B has the closing price. The EMA formula is based on the previous day's value. Since you have to start your calculation somewhere, the initial value for your first EMA calculation will actually be the simple moving average. If you want to calculate a 12 day EMA, we'll start with the moving average of the first data point. So let's start calculating the simple moving average so you can see the difference between that and EMA. So let's take the average of the first 12 trading days. That brings me to cell C13. I got 12 trades. Do the average formula, the simple average formula. And double click or drag it till the end of the row is cell or the row 59. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the exponential moving average. To calculate exponential moving average, let's create some holding cells where we'll calculate the weight multiplier because the EMA depends heavily on the weight multiplier or the smoothing constant. So let's start defining those cells. Can call it as K. Now let's do it for the 12 day period. Let's say 12 day ammo. And let's do one for 26 day EMA as well. We'll call this as K for the lack of better term. So the formula is the ratio of two consecutive trading days and think of Two consecutive periods, 12 day plus one. And we can show this as a percentage. Right, 26 day is the number of days, which is 26 plus one. Let's highlight this cells and apply some styling here so that we'll be revisiting this very soon. So let's get the basic formula for the EMA. What is EMA? So the EMA is basically this price times a multiplier that we just calculated. So for the 12 day is this, and for the 26 day it's here, 7.41%. So it's today's price, today's closing price, times the weight multiplier plus 
Guess third is EMA times one minus K. That's the basic formula for finding the EMA. For calculating the EMA, let's go to cell D13. And we have to start, start somewhere for finding the EMA. So the, for the first time, the EMA is the simple moving average. So let's do this. Let's copy over C13. And now we are going to apply the formula that I just showed you. So it's basically today's price, today's closing price times k i'm going to lock this up plus yesterday's ema which is nothing but a simple moving average because we have to start somewhere times one minus k you lock the cell as usual Double click or drag drop till the end. There we are. We just calculating. We just calculated 12 day EMA for GM. This technical indicators such as the SMAs and EMAs are best explained with a chart. If you see the blue line, this is the closing price of the GM stock for 58 trading days. The orange line is the 12 day simple moving average, and the green line is the 12 day EMA. So, as you could see, the green line is the leading ind indicator, and the orange line is a lagging indicator. So, the EMA or the green line is more sensitive to price changes, whereas the orange line, which is the simple moving average, not that sensitive doesn't change that often so to use the ema to determine the trend direction and trade it in direction so you could see here there are three crossovers one happening just around july 31st of july there's another one right here the end of august is another crossover between the orange and the green line so this crossover, think of it as when you buy, buy when prices dip or are below the EMA. And when it falls, consider selling when prices rally towards or stay above the EMA. So the moving averages can also indicate support and resistance areas. So think about it as a range, right? So a rising EMA tends to support in this case, as you could see, rising all the way here. So the rising EMA tends to support the price action, while the reverse, when the EMA falls, it tries to provide some resistance. So all moving averages are not designed to identify a trade at the exact bottom and top. So the moving averages helps you trade in a general direction of a trend, but with a delay at the entry and exit. So this is not intended to be the foolproof technical indicator. You will have to apply more indicators such as MSCDs and RSIs in conjunction with this moving average to, um, to make better trades. So the EMA has a shorter delay than the SMA with the same period. EMA adjusts to the changes in prices more quickly simple moving average does. It's always good to compare these values, EMA values against major trading platform, such as TD Ameritrade or E-Trade or any of those popular trading sites. So if you see, we started on July 1st and we traded all the way to September 20th. And the 12 day EMA stands out to be 38 and 38.1. Let's compare against KDM Trade's trading platform. 
So here I got a lot of indicators here. I've got moving averages. I got simple moving averages, 50 day moving average, right? And then I got some handle charts here. So let's go, let's hover over to 920, which is right here. Expand this. So I'm the end of 920. The stock price was 37 and change. And if you see here, right at the intersection of the green line and towards the upper right of the candlestick, this is where this is where it shows 38.1, uh, the 12 day moving averages. And you could see this on top as well. Um, so it's very close to that value. Which, which kind of matches, which is an exact match with the Excel formula that we put uh, a few seconds ago that I showed you. I hope this step-by-step -step calculation in Excel helped you identify technical trends more effectively. Um, the link to the site and the download information are in the description. Subscribe to my channel for similar videos in the future. Till then, goodbye.